All right, everyone, how about three quick cards and a bottom card with me? All right, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Well, I got my pre-shuffle. You're looking at two cups uh, at the bottom of the little lightsaber deck. Well, okay. I asked the universe. I said, what do you want to tell everyone tonight? This is for all signs. This is for everybody. There's no astrology here. It's just me reading energy. And right now, the energy is a bit of a black hole for reasons I've explained on a couple of readings I did today. No, no small part because everything it's sort of a jam up on the freeway. All everything's changing right now. Nodes are changing, Mercury's going retrograde, there's full moon energy, the Uranus is going direct, the sun's about to go into Capricorn. It's all happening at the same fucking time. It's unreal. And no matter it may and Mars is even gonna change signs next week around the twenty fourth, it's going into Capricorn. We're gonna to have to pull a reading on that. A fire a fiery Mars and an Earth energy. It's gonna be very interesting. Anyway, uh, this reading is general. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. Okay. It's timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Well, what, I asked the universe. I said, what do you want to tell everyone? Okay. Well, I want to tell you about a soulmate connection. Jeez, as if you don't know about that. <laughs> it wants to tell you about a soulmate connection. That's, uh, well... It's, it's long term. It's, it's it's a happy new beginning. It's about to get some stability. When the Four of Wands is crossing the Two of Cups, it's two souls coming together uh, with an affecting energy of stability. To with with the somebody wants to bring stability to this, and that's kind of what's in the energy. We saw it in my Q1 2022 reading, where it talks about again um, uh, the new beginning in love in February. And people returning in January. And we've seen it in all the readings. No reason to sugarcoat here. For some of you, it won't happen. For some of you, your, your person's a, a super chicken pussy candy ass. And they'll just stay where they're at and not come running. You know, it's a whole new category. It's super pussy chicken candy ass. It's a, but for most of you, there's stability coming to something that's been unstable. So uh, Someone's coming to work on things that they've been lying to themselves. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. They've been lying to themselves for a long time that they, you know, weren't interested in or tried to sneak away from, ran away from, kept things secret even from themselves about. All right, let's go. Let's 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 do three quick cards and a bottom card, which we all know with me already with the pre-shuffle, it's more than three cards. But we all know with me it ends up being 400 cards. But we'll see. Okay? We'll see. I'll try this time just to do three cards and a bottom card. I will try. I will try. What else you want to tell them, universe, about this soulmate connection that's going to get some stability from somebody that would lie into their ass about it for a long time and now wants to work on it? Also could be somebody that, that mistook pentacles. We see that a lot. I saw it today in Leo's reading. Somebody spent a long time thinking pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. And forgot all about the cups. And then they feel the cups. And it's like, whoa. And the, <laughs> these energies are right for people feeling the cups. Feeling the emotions. No doubt about that. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. You're reading, universe. Three cards and a bottom card. Well, I'll show you the bottom card first. Why? Because if you saw my node shift reading, I said there's a card you're going to see a lot for the next 18 months. For me, from anyone. Doesn't matter. It's right here. It's the bottom card. The affecting energy is the Ace of Swords. It's a powerful energy, the Ace of Swords. It really is. Uh, it's, again, somebody realizing that they've been lying to themselves. I think it's the message the universe wants by putting, to give you by putting that Seven of Swords in the, in the pre-shuffle. It, it's, it's a soulmate who, who is, has realized that they've been lying to themselves. Acknowledgement, as any therapist or psychologist will tell you, acknowledgement of the issue is the first step toward healing. What this person knows, and they've known for a long time. I believe that in this energy. Let's let's see what else it wants to say. What's what's on the top? Page of Pentacles. Oh, my little page. My little page of Pentacles. Uh, Ten of Wands. And the Four of Pentacles. Okay. With an Ace of Swords crossing Ten Wands. Yeah, I can't lie. It's a, it's a message of I can't lie to myself anymore. Of course they can't. You're going to be picking up on this energy. I'm going to tell you that straight up. Okay? You're all... The energy right now is weird. I couldn't even pull a reading this morning. 
and yesterday was forget about it. I could pull two readings yesterday because they were both kind of in crickets chirping at the moment. The, the bottom line is this energy is powerful right now as I've explained at the beginning of this video. I rattled off a list of things that are going on and that didn't even include the Earth's magnetic field which all energy readers sort of take into account. That's, the, that's actually a more powerful energy than any of the planets out there. The Sun, the Moon, number one and number two are the energies that affect us the most. The Earth's magnetic field which is generally affected by the energy of the Sun and the moon in some respects, but mostly the sun, uh, it, it is a huge impact on our moods in particular, our, our level of horniness in particular. If I tell you horniness is kicking up in the energy, I'm not getting that from some planet or from some astrology. I'm getting that from the Earth's magnetic field. I can go, I can feel it. Okay, I know what's happening. People, you know, people are receptive to these things who, you know, know how to do this shit. I didn't ask for the gift. I just have it. I didn't ask for it. I'd give it back. If I could find a way to get rid of it, I would. But it seems to be helpful for people, so I'll hold on to it for a while. Um, Ace of Swords. Again, they know this. It's, it's building a burden here. This Ten of Wands is looking to reset. Somebody's coming in to try to fix things, okay? Why? And this is the part that's great. This is where the Four of Pentacles here is great. All I get off of this card is a fear energy, but it's a fear of lack energy. It's a fear of loss. Okay? It's a, but think about it. It makes sense. It's a connection that they've been trying to run away from for a long time. Lying to themselves. And now they realize with the Ace of Swords that, that it's the shit. It's, it's what they want. And they're, they're clamoring to think about what they're going to say. The Page of Pentacles is 3D communication. This is real life communication right here. The Page of Pentacles. It's also a card of a student, of somebody learning. So they think about every word they're going to say. They might be spying. They can be. Some of that energy is bled in there. Either way, the reason they're approaching is because the dam here, the Ten of Wands, is breaking. All right? Somebody can't lie to themselves anymore, and they don't want to lose it. That's what they realize. And I saw that energy around the Two of Cups at the beginning of it. It's somebody who doesn't want to lose this connection. All right? let's, uh, let's just do, just for fun, just for shits and giggles, let's pull on the Four of Pentacles here, okay? That fear of lack, fear of loss. You know, it's the card of the miser. They hold on to their money, pack it in mattresses, mason jars, whatever. <laughs> where I grew up, it was mason jars. Some people never heard of that. Yeah, well, you didn't grow up where I grew up. <laughs> I grew up in two places. I grew up in, uh, in uh, northern Florida panhandle kind of area and I grew up uh, we my dad had a contract so we moved up to New England New England is where they put them in the mason jars <laughs> a lot of times just so you know uh, everybody uses them there for some reason uh, in fact there was a news story recently where they found forty thousand dollars or something in in mason jar or something like that I remember reading that but anyway your misers hide their money you know they don't spend it they hide they, they are they're everywhere they're not just in the south obviously they're in the north too so you know, they're all over the place. Anyway, let's see what we got here. They're all so good for cooking, them mason jars. You, know, you can store tomatoes in them and stuff and pickle things and all that. But they fit money real nice. <laughs> Get the right size. Uh, four pinnacles, why is it here? But everybody knows misers hide things in the mattress. And there you go. Yeah, it's about what I expected. There's your spying. Mm-hmm. And the King of Cups. Somebody's in their fields, right? They're, why do they? Okay. It's about a fear of loss. Fear of lack. Why? Well, <laughs> though they're a little disappointed in themselves for lying to themselves a little bit. Crossing that um, mm, uh, page of swords is the Nine of, uh, of Wands. Uh, which tells me you, that's really a spy and energy together. That's somebody behind a wall. That's somebody who's been always there. They never left. Even when they lied to themselves and said they, they weren't interested, they never left. They were always there. There's a little bit of spy in here. May have been daydreaming. That's spying a little bit. It's energetic spying, you know, kind of a thing. But for a lot of you, they looked at your social media and shit like that. But anyway, they don't want to lose it. They liked what they saw. This connection is very inspirational. You're an inspiration with the Hierophant here. You're an inspiration to your person. You're like the Pope, okay? <laughs> Male or female. Uh, but the bottom line is it's uh, somebody who is in their fields. 
Somebody also on the, energy is always in layers. The top layer is just somebody in their fields. That's why they don't want to lose it. They feel the connection now. But uh, uh, as we go underneath a little bit, a couple layers down, okay, um, we get somebody who maybe knows they have to open up to you and they're afraid of your reaction. So they, there's the fear of loss. The fear of loss ties to that energy. Energy always goes in layers and it always ties to other things. You can think of it as like a tree with branches, okay? That tree has rings in the trunk, right? If you were to cut into it, you'd see the rings. So yeah, there's varying layers in the, ro in the core energy, but there's branches that come off of it. So someone is in their fields, they're feeling the connection, and that, that leads to disappointment. Uh, because they didn't open up to you, but also somebody knows that they have to open up to you uh, And they also fear on top of that that you might tell them to fuck off You probably have a right to but I do want you to know what the universe wants you to know Because you're going to be picking up their energy and it might make you a little moody It might make you a little sad you might feel a little heavy a little down in the dumps because they kind of are uh, The universe wants you to know that they um you're kind of an inspiration to this person. You've kind of changed their life on some level, okay? E even if it's just energetically, even if you yourself, you're like, well, Steve, I'm a loser. You know, I don't really do anything. You know, well, okay, first of all, stop calling yourself a loser, okay? Uh, but number two, that doesn't even matter. You could be, let's say you are, you're the biggest loser. You actually live behind a laundromat and you're watching me on stolen Wi Fi right now <laughs> on a prepaid little smartphone thing. Okay, fine. It doesn't matter. Your energy, the energy that came from your souls in the soul recognition was fuel for this person. All right. Either way, somebody's about to open up to you because they're afraid you might be gone. On the flip of that energy, they're also afraid of your reaction. And I've been saying that for a while. These people are afraid of your reaction to it, to it all. Okay. Well, having said that, let's pull one more card then. One more card, universe. Tell me about the uh, Page of Pentacles here. Let's just pull a couple on the Page of Pentacles just for fun. Because that's the uh, communication right there. All right. That's our card of communication. It's it's solid. Commu oh, yeah. Somebody's going to open up. This energy ties. Remember, I just taught you about a tree. Right? This energy ties to the branch of the uh, King of Cups. Somebody's going to open up. This verifies my read on the King of Cups. The Three of Cups is emotion. The flow of emotion. It means a lot of things, but the energy of it, the number three, very important in the universe, it's the flow of water. It's the flow of emotion. It's somebody opening up and telling you how they feel. Someone who hasn't before is what the King of Cups represents on that. Not on any real level, anyway. Yep. Coming to build things. More children. Children here. Children here. Tells me there's no real foundation here for you guys. There's no trust. You don't trust them. I blame you. They ran from you. That's probably part of what they're worried about, that you don't trust them. <laughs> I wouldn't. You ran from me last time. Now you want to move in. Now you're showing up with your stuff. What? 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 I can't trust you're going to stick around. Right. They need it. Coming to build a foundation. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, the timing is better now. That's the energy I get off of it. But they're worried as fuck. Why am I getting that? And that's why. Right there. The devil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's this person's own shit that's getting in the way and not going to... All this fear. Fear is always the devil anyway. Fear is the devil energy. Okay? All this shit right here. Uh, divine timing. The timing wasn't right before. There were seeds that were planted by this connection that needed to grow. Uh, this person has gone through some changes. They've learned a few things with the devil bookending the uh, Three of Pentacles here, but they still got some hang-ups. They, they still got some fears around them. They're a little bit obsessed. I don't mind telling you. That's why this Ten of Wands is here. That's, that's, a, that's a great deal of burden. This dam is about to break. The universe letting you know somebody's coming in. It's the energy. Uh, and, and they're opening up uh, right here. And again, with the moon, it's, it's, a, it's a secrets revealed energy here. She can't hold her breath much longer. Whenever I'm drawn to her breath that she can't hold much longer, you're going to find out some things about somebody's feelings. And again, take it for what it's worth. But I'm telling you this in advance. They have some fear about your reaction. Don't, don't do what I would do. You know me. I'd make some joke sarcasm that they wouldn't get. 
You know, if I knew in advance that somebody was worried about my reaction, I wouldn't be able to resist the urge to, when they called up, start yelling at them, are you fucking serious? Are you fucking texting me? Are you texting me? You know, I, I would only be kidding, but you, you'll give this person a fucking heart attack and they'll piss themselves. If you want them to piss themselves, go ahead and be sarcastic. Be like me. But, uh... Keep in mind, there's still a little devil energy around this person. There's, there's still some fear. And mostly I get fears off of this, okay, as far as devil energy goes. Uh, you know, they can't get you out of it. There's, there's obsession around that. I don't mind telling you. I don't like calling the devil obsession. I don't. But also, there's an energy here because there's so many people watching. There's an energy here where this person around this devil energy, and this only applies to a few of you, this person may have been listening to the wrong people. In other words, friends telling them that you were shit or family, maybe, or what? I, I don't know. There's something about that here that's this devil energy. Uh, I think they're over that. I, I think they've learned that that wasn't good. But for those people, okay, let me just pull a couple cards on the devil, okay? Because that energy is there. Somebody was, for a few of you, and, and everybody matters, even if it's just one person watching, if you're upset, my God, I can't believe. Timmy told my person, but you know, whatever. That, that's not cool. Let's find out. Let's, let's find out if they're a little over that, if they feel bad about that or not. Tell me about that energy band, universe. Because it's a really clear energy band. I can, I can feel it. And I, I get a little pissed. I hate that. I hate it when someone else says I said something. Right? <laughs> what the hell? You, somebody says I said something? Well, why don't you just ask me if I said it? You know, I heard that you said, you know, oh, you don't want to go near the collective because the collective, you know, that's, it's, it's always some, it's, it's always shit. Anytime, anytime information gets passed down, it gets, it gets lost in translation and it gets worse and worse as it goes. I mean, it's what, it's what comedy skits are made of. It really is. It's what the show Three's Company was made of, right? Jack, uh, three, Jack would overhear Chrissy in the kitchen draw the wrong conclusion about what she was doing and in the whole episode he thinks she's selling herself to pay the rent whole episode all kinds of stuff ensues funny laughter at the end we find out she was just making a reservation at the hooker cafe to meet her friend that's it she was never selling herself nothing going on he just heard it wrong and, and that's what happened here there's some sort of threes company energy where somebody got the message wrong you know and your person believed it Let's see. So, for whoever that belongs to, <laughs> the Seven of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, they regret it. They regret it. They made the wrong choice. They, they listened to the wrong people. These two cards say that. It's what I just got done telling you. It's in the energy. They listened to the wrong people. And they made the wrong choice because of it. He should have chosen the red one. And they regret it. There's this sadness and regret right here. It's the Five of Pentacles. They know it left them out in the cold. That's part of the reason they're coming back in is to fix that. Okay? And again, that's part of the reason, too, they're afraid of your reaction in some way. This person's going to have to eat some crow if that scenario belongs to you. But it belongs to enough of you watching that I thought I'd pull a couple cards. Um, yeah, at the bottom of the deck, crossing the two cards I pulled is an apology. It's the Page of Cups. Right? Okay? That's your reading. All right. I hope this reading was helpful. It's just a quickie. You know, whatever. A little quick reading here. Not a quickie quickie. I didn't bang anybody. You know, but it, it is a, a, a quick reading. Anyway, uh, I hope this reading was helpful. If I helped even one person today with anything I said, made you feel a little better, then I've done my job because this energy is rough. Okay? I explained to you everything that's happening in the energy. You, you can only imagine. All right, take all the astrology that's happening in the energy all at once right now and add a pissy Earth's magnetic field to it. And I'm sure you feel, some, some of you anyway, the ones especially affected by this right now in this cycle of the soulmate cycle, uh, are probably feeling kind of you know, down in the dumps or up and down or tired would be a common symptom, fatigue, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, I can dig it. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck, everyone.